Let's derive the formula for resistors in series. Now, when a resistor is in series, there are two very important aspects. One is that whatever current comes out of the power supply is the same current that goes through R1 and the same current that goes through R2. So I'll write it like this, that the total current I is equal to the current going through the first resistor, which is also equal to the current going through the second resistor. The other important aspect is that this total voltage here, well, it gets dropped some of it here in V1 and some of it here V2. So voltage is dropped over the resistors. Um, what I mean by that is, let's take a little picture for a second here. If, for example, if this is 10 volts and then this is the ground plate at zero volts, well, as I go through this loop, some of the 10 volts is dropped here, some of the 10 volts is dropped here in V2, but then when I get back here, I have to be at zero. So if I start here at uh, 10 volts, well, as you go through the wires, we're assuming zero resistance, which is pretty good for a wire. There's almost no resistance in a wire. But then we drop voltage here at R1, and then we drop some more voltage here at R2, down to zero, and then the power supply brings it back from zero back up to 10 volts. So that's, that's the idea there. And... Uh, let me put it in words here. So the voltage, the total voltage, that is the voltage of the power supply, equals the voltage dropped across the first resistor plus the voltage dropped across the second resistor. And I can um, plug things in here. So for example, using Ohm's law, which I'll, let's write Ohm's law here. Ohm's law states that the voltage is equal to current times resistance. So if I plug that in, I pl would plug in the total current, because we're talking about total voltage, multiplied by the total resistance. Here I'm talking about the voltage across, dropped across the first resistor, so that's just the current going through the first resistor times the value of the first resistor. And similarly for the second guy. Now, since the currents are all equal, well, we can just write I as I. And then we have R total here, which equals I R1 plus I R2. And then here I'll factor out the current. And now I'll divide both sides by I. the I's cancel, and we have our formula for resistors in series. R total, that is the total resistance of the circuit, is simply equal to the addition of all the resistors in series. Now, although I did this for two resistors, this proof, hold, this proof holds for many resistors, as many as you add in series.